Thank you, Jill. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Emily Vickers. I have been coming to Heart to Heart. I just looked it up. I've been here since February 12th, 2023, because that's when my mom emailed me the link. So I had that in my email and I was like, oh my gosh, so I've been here about a year and a half. Um, I love coming on Sundays when I can. And I recently went up to the community meeting and we were talking and I was like, yeah, I'd love to host one. And here I am. So, and I didn't know Joe would be here. So hi, Joe. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm Emily. I'm actually, my mom's on the call, Karen Vickers and Judy Vickers is my grandma. So, uh, whole fam's here. And yeah, I did, um, recently I did a meditation teacher training in 2023, with uh, Three Jewels Enlightenment Studio. It's based out of New York, but I did it on Zoom. Um, and it was just a really great experience. And I learned a lot of me guided meditations. Um, and their their lineage is based in Tibetan Buddhism, which I think Joe's talked about quite a bit. So I won't go into the history because that could be a whole other Zoom call. So I'm not going to go into that. But um, the meditation we're going to do today um, is called Inner Guide. And from what I've learned, it's actually the meditation that a lot of Tibetan monks do before they actually go into form their formal meditation. So they do this inner guide meditation to like purify their mind and like get centered. And then they do their, the formal, the main meditation, whatever you would say. But yeah, so um, we're doing a guided, a guided visualization meditation. Um, the we're going to use our imagination and we're going to sit with our inner guide, which you can start thinking about who that might be for you. This is just anyone who you know or that you don't know. They could be a religious figure. Um, but the idea is that this being is perfect. They are perfect to you. They they have all the qualities that you admire. Um, and they don't even have to be human. Some people meditate on their dog as their inner guide, right? This is just a be an all loving um, being, non-judgmental, and then any other qualities that you would attribute to someone who is perfect. We're gonna sit with them in meditation for a little bit. Um, and then if you can't think of someone, um, you can default, you can always default to your uh, a future version of yourself. So a future, it's also called future refuge. So a future version of you who has overcome all your struggles, who is at peace, who is happy, who is thriving, you can sit with them as well. So it's kind of a choose your own adventure this morning. Um, you get to pick <laughs> who you want to sit with before you sit with them. Um, yeah. And, oh yes, the music that I picked today, I'm also going to ask you all to sit um, in your perfect paradise, whatever that looks like for you. So for me, usually it is a beach of some kind. I'm sitting by some kind of body of water, which is what our image was. Um, and I love the Celtic women. Um, funny enough, tiny side story. Whenever I was a kid, I played this game called Endless Ocean. It was a video game where you swim around in the ocean and you click on fish. That's all the game was. And they, I guess the video game makers bought the Celtic women's music to play in the background of that video game. And so that music is like, ingrained in my mind like that music is very like calming like whenever I hear and I mean you all don't even have to play the video game to know that their music is calming like, it's just so like angelic and like takes me to a different place so I thought I would throw it in there this morning um so yeah they're the Celtic women if you want to look them up after um yeah and the key today is um non-judgment as much as you can you all are pretty seasoned meditators. I usually work with a lot of beginners. Um, but as you know, like when you get distracted, which you will, when you start thinking about lunch or you start thinking about what you're going to do tomorrow or what you did yesterday, just bring yourself back to, luckily I'm going to be speaking the whole time. So it's pretty easy. You can just say, I'm going to bring my focus back to Emily's voice, or I'm going to bring my focus back to my imagination because that's the tool that we're using today. Um, and that is the practice from like, from what I learned with my training, like meditation is just what you have your focus on. So we're really meditating all the time. Um, but our focus jumps so quickly 
Um, and so this is just the practice of how long can I keep my focus on this object? And when I get distracted, how quickly can I bring it back? And can I do it with non-judgment? So yeah, we're going to start with a body scan before we get into our imagination. We're just going to get comfy. So find a comfortable seat. You can do this lying on the ground. Just try not to fall asleep. But if you do, then that's just a distraction. And when you wake up, you'll bring your mind back to the meditation. Um, so you can do it lying down. You can do it sitting in a chair, sitting crisscross applesauce. Um, you, If you're sitting in a chair, try to have your feet planted firmly on the ground knees over ankles, and if you can, elongate your spine. You don't want to have a rigid spine, but you do want to just imagine a tiny string running from the your tailbone up through the crown of your head, just holding that spine up for you. And whenever you're ready, you can just start to lower your eyes and we'll take the first three breaths together. On the count of three, we'll do one big inhale. One, two, three. And exhale through the mouth. And inhale. Then exhale. Then inhale. And exhale. Make any last adjustments that you need to with your body. And we're gonna just bring our attention to our toes. With every inhale, see if you can locate any areas of tension you might be holding in your toes, the bottom of your feet. And with every exhale, see what you can release or accept. The soles of the feet. Moving up to the tops of the feet. The ankles. See if there's anything that you can release in the ankles. Moving up to the calves and the knees. Just let gravity take over. I like to imagine that I'm just melting in to the ground, to the earth, to my support. Bring your awareness to the tops of your thighs. the bottoms of your thighs. Your hips. And your glutes. Feel supported by the ba by your base and just see what you can release. With your exhale. Moving up to our stomach and our lower back. Just let it hold all your organs. You don't have to suck in. Nobody's looking at you. Just let it all out. Moving up to the chest, the spine, we hold a lot of tension in our shoulders, maybe do a shoulder roll, 
See what you can release up toward the top of your shoulders. And sometimes it might feel like we can't release anything, but what can we accept? What can we hold space for in our body? Moving down the arms, the biceps and the elbows. You can rest them gently on your lap. your forearms and your wrists. The palm of your hand and your fingers. your entire body below the neck. Do one last scan, see if there's anywhere else you might be holding tension. And lastly, moving up to the throat and the back of the head. We also carry a lot of tension in our face. So see what you can release in between the eyebrows, behind the eyes, unclench your jaw if it's clenched, the cheekbones, the ears, And finally, the crown of the head. And just take this time to do one last scan anywhere that you want to check on. Any other positions you need to take to get comfortable before we move into our imagination. And just connect with an intention before we get started. Why do you meditate personally? And what kind of a relationship do you want to have with your mind? And as we move into our imagination, start to... Consider what your perfect paradise would look like. Maybe imagine that you are there and you're setting up or decorating. You're preparing this perfect place for your inner guide to come and visit you. Maybe think about what temperature this place is, what the lighting is like, how does it bring you a sense of safety and calm? And since we're using our imagination, you can make it as elaborate as there are butterflies everywhere or a million candles, or it can be as simple as a bouquet of flowers sitting out. And as you finish setting up the space, you find a comfortable seat in the middle of the space. And there's an empty spot right in front of you. 
And as you get comfortable, you look off into the distance, maybe toward a horizon line or toward a door. And you start to see a bright white light grow brighter and brighter. And you start to make out the physical appearance of your inner guide who's coming to visit you today. What are they wearing? What do their eyes look like? Are they smiling at you because they're so excited to come and sit with you today in this perfect place? And you start to make a list in your mind of all of the qualities that you admire in this person, what makes them so special that you decided to invite them here today to sit with you in this beautiful space. What makes them so special? And they take a seat in front of you, mirroring your posture with a big smile on their face because they're just so happy that you invited them to sit with you today. And as they sit with you, they ask you to share something with them that has been weighing on you recently something that you have been struggling with. They want to know and they want to support you with whatever you have going on. And notice how they look at you when you're sharing these things, how they see you with complete non judgment. And even though this thing might be weighing on you right now how nice it is to just sit with this person and know that they're there for you, no matter what. Next, they ask you to share with them something good that's happened recently, something that has brought a smile to your face, maybe something kind that someone did for you or that you did for someone else. They want to rejoice in the goodness too with you. And see how they look at you again, this time with joy. And before they get up to leave, you ask them to share any wisdom or advice that they might have for you right now. Any message that they could give you, and it could come in the form of words, but it could also just come in the form of a feeling.
and as you look at them, they start to glow bright white again, and they shrink down, down to the size of a tiny, tiny diamond, glowing bright and hovering just right in front of your face. The diamond lifts up over the crown of your head and drops down through your spine, down the back of your throat, and it lands right in the center of your heart space. Feel free to place your hand over your heart if it feels comfortable for you. See if you can feel them in the center of your heart space. And just acknowledge that since we're using our mind and our imagination today, that any good feelings, any relief, any goodness that came out of this meditation, you know, it, it had to have come from your own mind. It had to have come from you. Any wisdom that you gleaned, any, any moment of peace. It had to have come from you. And think of someone in your life who maybe couldn't make it to meditate today or maybe is struggling as well and who could really use any moment of peace that you encountered today any moment of clarity and see if you can dedicate these feelings to them. And imagine that they really do receive it today from you. And whenever you're ready, you can start to slowly connect back to the physical space, like wiggling your fingers or your toes. And taking any last breaths or stretches that you might need. Thank you all so much for joining me for a short little guided visualization meditation. And in a few moments, we'll move into some silence. <laughs>